everybody. Today we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for the Rod Run. The 2024 Spring Rod Run is beginning and a lot of the rods are already here. It is Wednesday. Tomorrow is the official start. And I've already, we've already driven through once and we've seen a lot of new rides that we've never seen before. And I'm excited for this. Dawn, are you ready? ready. Let's do this. And it is Rod Run once again here in the Great Smoky Mountains. All the classics are out. Their hoods are popped. You can smell that Bondo in the air, that fresh paint. A 1972 Charger, and it's in the same orange as the General Lee. So this is new, it's called Jack and Coke. It's an old GMC pickup there. It's got some, uh, some moonshine barrels or some whiskey barrels out back. And I guess they mix it with Coke, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. well, it's always good to see something new. And of course, this is one of many new rides that are here this year. I'm super excited. Gonna rain a little bit later around three o'clock. So we're hoping to walk the strip and get back here before the rain starts. I think Friday, they're calling for some more rain, but the weather is nice. It's warm at the moment. And we're gonna take a little stroll down the, down the parkway here. It's a 53 GMC late model, and they want 22,500 or best offer. A very nice 66 Chevelle. That's an SS clone, 12 bolt, for sale or trade. 79 Firebird, 38,000 original miles. It's got air conditioning, and they want $26,000 for it. Yeah, a little Honda monkey there. I, I could see you driving that around. He <laughs> cried crash. And Don likes Volkswagens, right? They got one over here. It's a 68 for $7,500. And a lot of the cars are covered in pollen because the pollen is really bad right about now. Uh, I've been washing the car almost every single day. I used to make parts for these vehicles back in the day when I was in the automotive industry. Now these SSRs, everybody's detailing their vehicles for the weekend, they're getting ready. There's a 66 Chevelle SS over here, 396. And it is really clean. It's very, very sharp. Wow, the paint just, just amazing. The interior looks really good as well. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having something like this. This is really, really nice. Yeah, this 36 huts, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. It's all, it's got a blower on her. A mean looking one at that. Here you go, Dawn. There's a little tea bucket here for you. I think I would drive it. 10,500. Yeah, you could, I could see you driving around in, in this here. An old tea bucket. Not too badly priced, you know, with what you get. Oh my goodness. Look at this trike. <laughs> it looks like it came right out of the 70s. Yeah, I think it's called Slick. It's an old Volkswagen uh, rear end to it. Street machine. Street machine, huh? Yeah. Uh, look at this old gasser. The U.S. Commander. <laughs> I love it. And it's got a lot of flake. Uh, so it's got a 409 in it. And the uh, windows are tinted in, in a red tint. Definitely 1970s. <laughs> 
Ah, it's an old international rally. You don't see these around. So Dawn, Dawn found something she <laughs> likes over here. Yeah, it's like all been set up for racing, huh? I'm not sure what this is, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bean would be very proud, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I can see Mr. Bean. knock those trash cans out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bean, right? You can take out a couple of trash cans and man. Well, he can make it through the, uh, the, you know, the cross guard, right? You know, remember that episode where he, yeah. There are rides every inch of the parkway. Everything you can imagine. So it's a 1963 Mercury Monterey. And it's definitely shagged out. Something that Cheech and Chong would be proud of. You know, check out the, the paint scheme on it. And it's got a furry dashboard. <laughs> Very... Very furry at that. It's an old Volkswagen, but I think they've chopped it up. And look at the wheelbase on it. It's <laughs> it's like a roller skate. Yeah. It is, it is. Fun, yeah, it would be a lot of fun. It's always fun to walk the strip and check out all these classics. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like a real life, a real life Hot Wheel. So you like this one, huh? It's got a Mohawk. And the Mountain Breeze Motel is a popular place to stay and to bring your ride with its front uh, front lawn here always jam-packed with cars and as we get closer to friday more and more will come and find a spot here on the on the grass 1985 custom deluxe has got a a three-wheeler in the back old big red i remember those as a kid everybody wanted one yeah, 1980s overload a 1954 Chevy 3100 62 Corvette ah oh, yeah another gasser over here an old racer Mankin glass so oh, must be out of Georgia yeah so it's got some shag carpeting <laughs> screaming the, the 70s yeah. Wow yeah, an old go-kart a little Subaru a oh, little Volkswagen here, little rat rod one. Think pink, of course, the Pink Panther, and this, it is pink. <laughs> it looks like the Pink Panther. A 66 Caprice with a 327, very sharp. I love the color. And a Volkswagen van here. Oh, I found a little bus. Oh, and there's a duck in here, Will. Oh yeah, this thing's been all pimped oh, wow. out. Look at the seating in here. <laughs> I think that might be a pediatric one. You can camp out in here, right? Yeah. 1966 GTO big block tri power. And no price. I would say about half of the cars are here at the moment. But tomorrow there'll be a lot more unloading. Of course the weekend will be here. And pretty much every parking space along the parkway will be spoken for. Oh my gosh, an 86 Olds Cutlass. My friend had one just like this back in high school. $10,000. And um, oh my goodness, they have one. Now his had T-tops. But th these were pretty cool cars back in my day. I mean, you know what I mean? They were, uh, us kids, that's what we could afford. And we used to pick them up all day long for like 1,800 bucks. <laughs> and now, now it's like 10,000. So the price of vehicles have really, gone up and even though i know this is not a muscle car but for a kid 
just getting their driver's license, you know, in the 90s, that, that, was, that was a pretty cool ride. And this Pinot brings back a lot of memories. My dad had one of these. And I remember riding around when I was when I was little. And it was a pretty cool little car. And of course there's a really nice Mach 1 Mustang. A 69 Chevelle with 51,000 miles. They want $45,000 for it. Yeah, that's very sweet. 396. Now this 71 Cheyenne is here every year and it's got some pretty terrifying rims on it. Very cool, very clean. 35,000. So this Camaro's got a 502. That is one one big engine. And a little roadster over here. Yeah. So you like this here, right? Yeah, you just sit you sit there and you drive it. <laughs> uh, very, very cool. It's got a flathead in it. Got a mean S10 here. It's got a big old V8 in it. 23,500 or best offer. A little blazer here. It's all been blowing and <laughs> it's got an air ride, so it lifts it up and down the suspension. Yeah, it dropped. Yeah, and then look at it's all tubbed out in the back here. Yeah, so it's all all set up for for racing. It's got a full roll cage. Very, very nice 27. It's got a Corvette motor in it. It's called Speed King. Very, very cool. I like the paint scheme on there. Of course the pollen is really in the paint right now but it's very nicely done. You know, it almost looks like a coffin. <laughs> Look at that. A 1972 Demon. I absolutely love these old Mopars. It's got a 340 in it, but it's priced right at 19,500. A 1951 Chevy off frame. It's got a 383 stroker, 45,000. A 1946 Chevrolet pickup. 49,000, 61 Ford Galaxy, 390, four speed, 23,000, a 1941 International. It's a rat finked towing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. They want 18, uh, 18,500, or 18,500 or best offer. Yeah, it's got a little flare. It does. A little flare. It likes towing old, old bicycles. <laughs> very, very cool. So a 1973 Duster, yeah, nice good fixer upper. Don's like, this is the year I was born. This Duster was born the same year you were. A 1974 Plymouth Scamp, it's got a 273. They want 24,000 or best offer. Yeah, I love the color. I love the color of these old Mopars. A lot of old Mopars out here, a lot of Camaros, uh, and they're starting to fill up. I'm starting to see a lot of vehicles pull in with more cars on them. So it's gonna be a, a happening weekend here in, in the Forge. Yeah, so there's a, a 383 Challenger RT. Yet again, a lot of Mopars here. Everybody's all detailing their vehicles and trying to keep that uh, 
that pollen off them, which is almost impossible. Check out this old 28 Ford. Almost looks like a copper color. Very, very cool. And it's called Ratty. Old rat rod. Just cruising down the parkway. Yeah, so this 47 Dodge is all slammed down, air ride, crazy rat rod. You got the Flying A service. Uh, check out this rod over here. It's a 34 Oles. Yeah, it's all slammed, slammed down and very, very fun. And uh, this old Chevy, Chevy pickup here. Looks like you can do a little off-roading. And it looks like we're going to be getting some rain shortly. So we're going to turn down here by the old mill and then make our way all the way back up to the end of the strip over by the island. A 68 Camaro. And this Cuda is here every year. Very sharp looking, probably one of the better looking ones here on the strip. I, I believe this to be a British vehicle because it does have a Great Britain license plate. Yeah, of course, yeah, be on the other side. And I think this was shipped over from there. I think it's the shipping label. So it was bought used over there and then shipped to the United States. Pretty cool. I have never seen one like this. Yeah, it's a convertible. Yep, it kind of moves back. It's a Nissan, so it's, it's technically a Japanese vehicle. Oh my goodness, I had an, a Ford EXP. And here's one here. Mine was black in color. Yeah, Ford Experiment is what we used to call it. It was kind of like a Ford Experiment. <laughs> My Ford EXP was a stick and the starter went out. So we had to push it to get it going until I got the starter replaced, which took about a year. It, that's how much it took me to get the money out. Didn't make a lot of money back when I was 16, but that brought back a lot of memories. We had to push start it wherever we went. And it didn't have a back seat. I just, they just took the back seat out, made it more sporty, I guess. I don't know. Oh my goodness, a little. <laughs> it's a Chevy Chevette. They exist on, they, they live. Nineteen thirty six Dodge. Oh, rat rod. Nineteen ninety two Mustang LX convertible. Oh boy, this is bringing back the eighties and nineties. Thirteen thousand five hundred, and it's in really good shape. Yeah, they're out, aren't they? Yeah. Tearing it up. Well, you're coming down with the team, right? And 
the Holiday Inn is starting to become a hot spot for rod runners. Always a happening place. A lot of great classics in here. Rod run is looking really good. I see a lot of new rides. I've seen a lot of rides that we've seen in years past. Uh, Everybody has been so friendly. A lot of folks uh, have come up and say, hey, I watch your rod run videos. And I want to say thank you all so much for stopping. If you do see us out here, stop and say hi and we'll sit and chit chat a little bit. But yeah, that those clouds are moving in, but we're almost to where we need to be. Oh, Z28s, Malibus, Camaros, and some little Mopar. Dodge Challenger, 1970, $69,000. And a 72 Chevy K10 for $80,000. Yeah, even got a Porsche. <laughs> Uh, 80000 for the for the Porsche as well. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> this truck here. You can almost walk underneath it. Yeah, it, it's crazy lifted. I mean, there, there's some money in this lift. <laughs> Dawn said this is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, How do you in here? Hey, there's a little rope ladder. Where's the rope ladder? It's inside. Oh. The 1966 Chevelle. A very, very nice. Uh, 27000 for it and um, very purple. Holy moly, what is this? Well, it's new. I have never seen it. They want, they want $7,200. And I think the whole farm. <laughs> you oh, can pick people up in there. That weather vane's really going to get moving when you start heading down the road. This is one of a kind rat rod. It's even got golf clubs. You do a little golfing. It's called Crazy Acres Ranch, St. Louisville, Ohio. Louisville, Ohio. St. Louisville, Ohio. These are due in people upon completion visits. Don't put your hand in there. They got all kinds of traps and uh, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, you can even wind it up. And you can dry the boots out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. That's busy. <laughs> look, at, look at the spatula, Will. Oh. You got a giant spatula. It's something that you see the Beverly Hillbillies in, right? You know what I'm saying? It, very cool. I like the uniqueness of these rat rods, you know, yeah. these very, very interesting. It always gr grabs a lot of attention. And yeah. Even even carries a chainsaw like I do, don't doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does, it does. Ah. Yeah, a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna see at the rod run. Looks like a tomahawk. But right here, Don, there's something cool for you. Oh, there you go. A Dodge mail truck. Thirty-nine thousand five hundred. Very, very cool. Yeah, it's got an old Postal. It's like an old postage stamp called junk mail. Old mail delivery. Yeah, make a nice little like camper. Like you can put a little bed back here, cruise around. Yeah, it's like a little a Vespa. It's called a 1949. Sears? Hmm. 
Anyways, it's pretty cool. No, it's a Vespa. It says it's made in Italy by for Sears Roebuck. Wow, so this was made in Italy for Sears Roebuck. And it's called an, an Allstate. And I first saw it, I said, it looks like a Vespa, right? Yeah, it's Vespa. Of course, it's made in Italy, so it's got that that look. But it's it's really cool, actually. I, um, yeah, you can re, you know, put a, a new seat on there, get you know some leather and you know some padding. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the only break you have, you know. Well, the hand break up here, but yep. So it's in, in 1949. It's for sale. They want thirty-eight hundred dollars. Here's another trike. It's a '74 Volkswagen. They want forty-five hundred. That is Wednesday of the Rod Run. It goes Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's it's the beginning stage. I say about. About half of the cars are here, maybe a little bit under, and there will be more to come. In fact, we were watching them unload them. But folks, that's going to do it for today here at Pigeon Forge. If you guys like this vlog, also if you haven't, please subscribe so you can see the upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.